Hello everybody and welcome to Game of Thrones, a Telltale game. If you're familiar with the Telltale games, uh, you would know what kind of game this is. They've done uh, very successful story-driven titles like uh, The Wolf Among Us and uh, The Walking Dead series. Um, and this is bringing us a Game of Thrones gameplay and it is a story that take, takes place alongside the story of the books and, and the show that's on HBO. And this is full of spoilers, so if you don't want to see spoilers for stuff you haven't seen in the show or read in the books and you care to read them out of the books or see them in the show, then um, I suggest you don't watch these sort of playthroughs. Um, or maybe you are interested in what's gonna happen and you can't, you just can't wait for the books, so, or the show, and um, you want to go ahead and, and see what it what happens. So I believe it uh, starts at the end of season three, um, with uh, scenes, f I guess, around the red wedding, and then it goes off from there, and you play through the story of multiple characters, and. Um, yeah, we will begin with episode one. Here we go. This game series adopts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. And that's really true. For thousands of years, House Forester have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. In the darkest reaches of the Wolf's Wood, they harvest the rare ironwood trees. Now the north has been ripped apart by war and rival houses seek to claim forester ironwood for themselves. And the fate of house forester hangs in the balance. I'm ex singing, I'm excited. The great Jamie Lannister, Kingslayer, Oathbreaker, brought to his knees by the men of the North. And set free by the women. You'd think he'd done it himself the way he tells it. Old Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. <laughs> Let's clean the sword. Make sure it's spotless this time. Old Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains all over. Oh, I, I cut you off. You didn't finish your sentence. Now that is a proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. <laughs> you? You'll never have a sword like that. Um... I say that as a friend. I mean, if we're being honest, you are just a squire. Oh, don't be an arse, Bowen. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies, your lordship. I had Andy, you know. <laughs> Hand him what? Capturing him. He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk, he barely made it out of his tent. So what really happened? Someone caught him, I suppose. That's Kenny Man here, and they'll say it was them. You captured the Kingslayer? Aye. Well, I had a hand in it. Aye. A hand round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? I brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. Not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face. You're questioning Norrin's honor. I'm questioning Norrin's story. Which grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. Right, thanks. You're welcome. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrin's family he likes has faithfully me. served House Forrester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach, and House Tully is forever in his debt. They've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> Fetch your cup. The night we celebrate. Uh oh. There's the ironwood symbol on the flag there. To Rob Stark, the king in the north, 
The king of the Tomorrow, we march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the Young Wolf's army and ride as the vanguard. The gods have favored us. Onward to Casterly Rock! Aye! Death to the Lannisters! Aye! Iron from ice! Aye! That's their house low, uh, chant Got thing. It. Yes, my lord? I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, I could not be more proud of the man he's become. Mm -hmm. On a night like this, men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question of what's to be done with you. It's been on my mind for a while now. With me, my lord? You've served House Forrester well for several years now. But I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? Oh, this is good. What can I offer you? You serve me well. I seek nothing, my lord. Serving a noble house such as yours is reward enough. Oh, you're far too modest, Garrett. Whatever you believe is best, my lord. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Oh. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. Your hard work has paid off. Thank you, my lord. I promise. I won't let you down. That I don't doubt. But for now, keep this between us. We're celebrating tonight. I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yeah. Yes, my lord. Now go, and find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. Bloody hell. Empty. Squire! Fetch us more wine! Can you give me a hand? Come on. Can I get up to you? Fine. But you owe me. I'm supposed oh, to you. go find Roderick. I've been a squire longer than you have. I yes, outrank you. And that kept me keeping my word towards what's his name because I didn't tell people Fetch more wine that I'm not a squire my anymore. Armor, clean my boots. Just my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the law. Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk, a liar, and an arrogant prick. You'd better watch your tongue, Bowen. It could be much worse. What the fuck do you know about it? Language. Nothing is worse than Norin. <laughs> See, that's where you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in pig shit, shovel and slob, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. Who doesn't love bacon? Yeah. Ah, pig farmers. <laughs> All I'm saying is, at this rate we'll never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires for life. All in wine around a fucking wedding. Give it time. Yeah. You'll get there. More easy for you to say. Maybe if my uncle were castling at House Forester, I'd feel different. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? Well, it's right over there. Oh, wow. So we're at the stronghold of House Frey. This probably is right when the Red Wedding was happening. Take your time. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing Lord Walders. In a generous mood. Fucking phrase. Nice night like for a wedding. Um, we're spotting something here. All the free. Not often he finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. Yep, they're all armed. Oh. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. Um. What? What's wrong? Music. Just gotten into you. You're acting rather odd. We need to get back. Now. They're fine. They can wait. No, you don't understand. We need to go. And take the fucking flagon already. What's wrong with him? Something the matter? Uh-huh. Bowen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. 
Oh, I'll snap. I guess we'll save him. But what about? What the hell was that about? Slow down, would you? What's the rush? Still need a fucking run. Run! Yep, you guys. Yep. Ah. Uh, oh. It's all happening. We need to get back to camp. Oh, that was close. I didn't have my mouth, my hand on the keyboard. Find Roderick. Speak up, Garrett. Uh, I tried to save him, but there was nothing I could do. Find a weapon, quickly! The madness. Oh, Not afraid, you fucking traitor. Go, my lord, while there's still time. Can you grab a weapon? Ah, oh, jeez. Seven hells. We have to keep moving, my lord. I'd never make it. They'll hunt us down like dogs. Well, the Frey says time's over. Guard this with your life. What? Return it to Ironrath, where it belongs. There's no time to. I'd be damned if I let it fall into the hands of those traitors. Like that's early. You have to go. I, I won't leave you, you my lord. You can, and you will. My lord, By I... the gods, you will obey me. All right, all right. Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him. The 
North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. I swear that I will, my lord. Don't tend the chat. Hey, it's those foresters. Now go. On your honor, you must do this for your house. Go! Kill those uh. fucking foresters! <laughs> We've lost the world of Frey. Dang, guys. Why are you so brutal? Seriously. Well, that was quite the intro. Jeez. It's a similar song and intro. Hopefully I'm allowed to play this on uh, online if you know what I mean. All the copyright stuff might happen. They might tell me to bugger off. In which case I'll have to turn off the music for future episodes. That's a new a town we haven't really been to in the movies, or the show, I should say. Iron from Ice. Episode 1. I don't know about you guys, but that was intense. Tell us your story. Very well acted and directed, and, and voice acting is very well done so far. Pig farmers. I can look around. Do I just. Uh, Can I, can I actually, um... Can I switch the view? Oh, there's blood. Blood? Well... Fresh. Tig. Is it pig blood on the floor? Nope. There's smoke. Hmm. A wagon. Does that just mean I can't go that way? Yeah, I think so. Another wagon. Has there been a fight? Has there been a are these lands already under attack? That's father's car. No way. <laughs> Lord Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. Winter may be coming, but at least still have his bacon. <laughs> oh snap. Do I want to go in there? Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. <coughs> Father, I said move on. I'm going to kill you. Is that so? You can try if you like. And then we'll feed you to the pigs. Get off my land! This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new Warden of the North. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. No. 
I'll have that sword, boy. Come get it, you bastard. Finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. What? Pitchfork your ass. You really are a pig farmer, huh? <laughs> yep. First kill. Where is that axe you had in your game? Oh, really? Didn't see anything? Mercy. Please! I beg of you! I, I have a family! They'll never survive without me! I have no quarrel nope. with you! No, please! <laughs> Lord Whiteheel will see you hang for this! That much I promise! Dang, guys! Father? Garrett, you survived. Your, your sister. Really? She hid. Did she? I tried to stop them. Well, this has gone horribly wrong. I can't believe that one guy got I'll away. Kill the men who did this. Well, it was those three guys, dude. Just one of them got away. Iron Wrath, stronghold of House Forester. Right, we are actually gonna call it uh, good for this episode, and uh, we'll continue later as soon as this. It's Garrett. Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! As soon as they finish with this <sighs> intro. Why are you falling on your butt? Carrot! I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the Maester! Meet us in the Great Hall! Quickly! <laughs> 